welcome back to my channel. This is Breaking Bread with Andrea and we're going to be making herb lemon pepper chicken. Okay, so first we're going to start off with some freshly washed chicken and then we're going to start adding our spices. We're going to put garlic. A spice blend of um, just herbs and it's like a total all-purpose seasoning blend. Then we're going to do black pepper. And then regular coarse um, salt. Followed by garlic powder. Crushed red pepper. This gives it a little bit of a kick and um, just gives it more of like a deep flavor. We're going to take some smoked paprika. And then we're going to take, this is called roasted chicken flavored all-purpose seasoning. So it's like a rotisserie chicken flavored seasoning. And then we're going to cover this with lemon juice because this is lemon pepper chicken. So we're going to do two tablespoons of lemon juice. And then we're going to juice a half a lemon. When you're juicing the lemon, just try not to get the seeds in. So sometimes I turn the lemon up the opposite direction so that the seeds stay in my hand. This is actually my daughter doing the juicing. So if there's any seeds, you blame it on her. Okay, now that we have all the things in the bowl, we're going to sit here and put on gloves. Like I said, my daughter's in the behind the scenes. Not, she's usually behind the camera, but today she's actually doing the cooking or the mixing. She's kind of following my instructions here. So she's going to put on some gloves, and then we're going to go ahead and mix all the seasonings that we've added so far. So we just start off with seasoning the chicken because this is going to be herb and lemon pepper chicken. So we're going to start off with the regular seasonings just to give our chicken some flavor, and then we're going to add more herbs towards the end. So we're going to go ahead and mix, make sure all the chicken is coated nice and covered on all the pieces. These are small like chicken wingettes, which is great for like parties and serving um, like little appetizers or the Sunday football game, you know, anything pre Thanksgiving appetizers before the main course is done. Anything like that you could use this dish for. Even just a quick weeknight meal. Now we're going to go ahead and add a herb blend that was lemon pepper seasoning. So it's mostly lemon and pepper and then a little bit more garlic powder. And we're going to go ahead and mix. You want a good amount of lemon pepper, about two to three tablespoons, because this is lemon pepper chicken. Okay, so we're going to add a new pair of gloves, and then you're going to go ahead and mix again. Now this time we're really trying to incorporate that lemon pepper flavor all over the chicken. Perfect. So now at once it's all coated, then we're going to go ahead now. This is going to what makes it the herb. We're going to add fresh parsley, fresh thyme, fresh basil, all added in here, and then some red peppers. This is just a regular bell, red bell, red bell pepper cut up diced. I'm going to add that in. And we're going to coat the rest of this with flour. Now the reason why we're coating it with flour because it's going to help build its own gravy while it's cooking. So the juices from the chicken and that two tablespoons of flour that we just added is going okay, to we're gonna add the mix together and make a nice gravy. So we're going to evenly distribute the chicken in the pan. Perfectly, but my daughter's a little OCD about it. My daughter's a little OCD, so she's gonna probably sit here and line up all these chickens. Unnecessary. You can just dump them in and kind of just easily spread them around, but she just likes to be perfect. So we'll let her go ahead and organize the chicken if that makes her feel good. Not OCD. She's probably getting them all in size order and everything. Like I said, this part is totally not necessary. You can just dump them in your pan move them around so that they're not on top of each other and then you can easily bake them. Once we get all these chickens in the pan, we're... okay, once we get all the chicken nicely organized into the pan, we're gonna sprinkle on top the remainder of our um, cut up bell pepper, red bell pepper, and any remaining herbs or anything that was left over in our mixing bowl. We wanna just keep all the goodness 
into the pan with the chicken. We don't want to let any of that go to waste. So we're just going to go ahead and add any leftover herbs and leftover peppers to the top of the chicken. Cover with foil. After first, you're going to add the lemons onto the top. Now, once the remaining herbs are all over, we're going to also take some the other half. We juiced one half of our lemon. We're going to take the other half, slice it into some half moon shapes, and we're going to lay the lemon right on top of the chicken. Just kind of space it out all around. We want the aromatic flavors and aromas and all of that of the lemon to get into our pan or into our chicken while it's cooking. Then we're going to take some aluminum foil. Mine is Reynolds wrap. It really doesn't matter. Any aluminum foil will do. And we're going to nice and tightly cover the pan. We want to keep the pan nice and tightly cut, covered so that the juices and the steam from the cooking can stay in the pan and mix and help create that gravy that we're trying to make. So. Okay, now once we get this covered, we're gonna, probably gonna take about two pieces of foil. You're gonna cover that, and you could already have your oven preheated to 350. And we're gonna put that in the oven and we're gonna bake it for about one hour with the foil on and then 30 minutes with the foil off. Once that's done, you're gonna see our final product. This is our baked chicken, and you can see how in the pan there, there's gravy already built in. You just stir and serve. Thank you.